To get a new theme, you have to download it, but it won't affect the appearance of your site until you activate it. So this, this, and this theme are all downloaded, but none of them are active. You can only have one theme active at a time, and this theme is active, so my site is going to inherit the attributes of just this theme. You can live preview another theme to see what your content would look like with this theme. So the live preview, I can check it out, actually is pretty much a full functioning site, so I can see exactly how it would be. The only thing is, obviously, it's a little bit crammed. It's not full width. So if you wanted to, you could just save and activate. And now this is active. That'd be the same thing as if you just hit activate right here. And so if we look at our site now, hit refresh, it has the attributes from this theme. And as you can see, the content, again, didn't change. The content is just displayed differently. So that's really important because you can activate any theme you want and the blog posts, the pages you've made, the pictures you've put in, they aren't going to change. They're just going to be displayed differently. So you won't lose any work by uh, activating a new theme. And that makes things really easy when you are testing out new themes because you're going to want to at least live preview them, but often you're going to want to actually activate them and see how it feels, what it really looks like with the theme active. What's also nice is the theme will save your changes as long as you don't delete them. So this theme isn't active, but I didn't delete it. I still have it downloaded. So when I do activate it, let's go see if we can see it's active now. We're going to hit refresh on our site. It changes back to this theme, but remember how I changed the color scheme? It kept those changes that I made. So you can play around with all sorts of different themes without worrying about losing all the customization that you've done to a theme, as long as you just don't delete what is downloaded. There's a couple different ways that you can find new themes. So the first way is just once you're in appearance and themes, you just hit add new theme. And this will show you a bunch of themes that are featured by WordPress or popular in WordPress. The latest. And then you can even filter them by the color, layout, features, subject. And these will all be free. In the popular, there's 1,713. So there's a lot of themes. You can even search for them. So let's say I want a portfolio theme. I can type in portfolio. And here are all themes that are probably geared toward portfolio or have that in their name. If you want to see what a theme looks like, just like we did before, you can just do the preview. And here's a preview of what your content's going to look like on their theme. If you want to install it, it's very, very easy. So let's say I want to install this theme. I just hit install. And so it's actually downloading to your server, not your computer. So that makes it all the more easy. You just ins you just download it to your server. So you can download basically as many as you want. And again, it's so easy to activate and reactivate other ones. So if I, want, I can just go ahead and activate this theme. And let's see what our site looks now with this new theme. And there it is. So I can play around with my site using this theme very easily. It was super quick to install, super quick to activate. And if I don't like it, I can simply reactivate the other theme. Now I'm back. So the best way to find a theme you want is just download it and activate it. And it's so quick and easy to do. And through this way, they're all free, so it doesn't hurt to just download as many as you want and activate as many as you want until you see the one you, you like most. If you tried to find a good free theme through WordPress through this method and you came up short, so let's say you're looking for a portfolio theme and you look through the popular themes, you did a search, but you just didn't find one you liked, then usually the next thing I'll do is I'll just do a Google search. So a lot of time there's there will be lists of like, you know, top, 30 WordPress themes for portfolio, something like that. So I'll do a, a search like this, top portfolio themes, WordPress. 
click on see a, a lot of these lists top 15 top 60 and I'll look through this list and see if there's any I like let's say I like this uh, theme well I can either demo it and the nice thing about doing it outside of WordPress is this demo is showing me how the site looks not with my content but just how kind of they want it to look which oftentimes is better than with my content because if you are previewing a theme and you don't have any content it's gonna pull your content and it's gonna look kinda of bare but by doing a demo it's using their content and they know how it can look good so they put in some good content so you can see kinda of the potential the theme has not what your theme is gonna look with like with no content so I can demo it and look at it like this which is pretty cool have an idea of what my website can look like but I can also just get more info or download it now a lot of times if you look up the top themes usually they're paid themes as you can see and basically what you do is you download a zipped folder which you would then upload into your WordPress site so what I do to get free ones is oftentimes when I'm here I just do a, con a, a little search control command F for free because sometimes their list will contain free themes or looks like they have a, spe a separate article just for free WordPress portfolio themes so here we are here's a bunch of good ones and again I can do the demo or I can more info and download so let me just show you how to download a theme outside of WordPress if you find it on Google for instance so now I can do the preview so demo and preview are different preview is going to use my content which again isn't always the best because if you don't have any content then it's hard to see what the themes really gonna look like but I can just go ahead and download it here so I'm gonna hit download so see how it download this zip file it's different than if I had found it through WordPress I could just go straight to install but since it's outside of WordPress I have to download this zip file it just finished downloading and by doing it outside of WordPress I have to download it to my computer first then upload it into onto my servers so a little bit different of a process but all I'm gonna do is so I'm already here I can hit upload theme so click choose file and then just find the zip file it should be in your downloads folder because you just barely downloaded it click it open notice how I'm using the zip folder I never unzip the folder you just want to upload the actual zip folder so what's it once it's in there just go ahead and hit install now and now it's all done and it's all uploaded it may take a minute or two for it to upload the uh, actual theme so I have it downloaded but again remember I haven't activated it so now I just need to hit activate and there it is that theme that I got off Google there it is I can look at my site now and so here's the theme with my content and it looks like a lot of the stuff is preloaded so even with no content it you have an idea of what it's going to look like the last way to get a theme is through the Mojo Marketplace. If you have HostGator web hosting, then you'll see up here and on the left, Mojo Marketplace. If you click it, it's just a marketplace where you can buy themes. They have a little partnership with HostGator, so when you first install WordPress, it comes preloaded. So again, all these themes are paid themes, so you can just scroll through them. You can preview them like normal you can separate them by the category and you can just buy them right in here 